This is going to be your weekly soulmate twin flame oh, relationship reading. If it's meant for you, it's meant for you. Well, there's definitely some romance in the air. Okay, romantic surprises are on the horizon. Be open to them. <laughs> they sure are. You know, it's kind of funny. Um, I've been feeling that expect the unexpected kind of vibe because we have a full moon in Aries happening on October 17th. Now, by the way, we are going to be doing a full moon Zoom on Friday of next week, so a week from today. I believe that is the 18th of October, and it'll be a two-hour general collective reading on Zoom. You'll have a recording of it after, and it will include a personalized moon reading for you, and that will be delivered by the next new moon. But this full moon in Aries is fiery, it's intense, it's tense, <laughs> it's not just intense, it's tense, a lot of tension in the air, I do believe it will be climactic, um, it's not going to be an easy full moon, now just because I say that doesn't mean that it has to be anything bad, I'm just saying you're going to feel it, it's already creeping into our energy, I mean so much is happening astrologically even, you know, we just went into Jupiter retrograde on October 9th, Pluto in Capricorn is direct today, there's so many things happening. We got to make it through until November when it shifts into Aquarius, as in Pluto in Aquarius. So a lot of things. We just went through all those eclipses. We've been through hurricanes. Like there's so many things and I hope everybody is doing well and safe. It's been a time and you can feel all that storm brewing energy within us, you know. So I invite you in the comments to let me know your word of the day, your vibes. I'd even be curious to know your zodiac sign, your person's zodiac sign. I'm always looking for trends in the readings that I do. So let's take a look at some overall themes and messages for this connection. Now we're basically going to have a conversation. What's in your headspace, your person's headspace, both your heart spaces, and then what are you both hoping for as regard to next steps? So here we have falling fast. Love happens quickly, but do, but don't lose yourself in the process. Okay, so this could be a connection where you feel just absolutely swept away. It's intense. You know, there's this sort of obsession between the two of you. It feels unlike anything you've ever felt before. I know those feelings very well. I have been there. I talk to people about these things all the time. But again, you have to be careful that you don't lose yourself. You know, a lot of the times we're wanting to be chosen, we're wanting people to love us and we give, 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 and we try to convince and we, we chase and that's when things start to go, you know, in a direction that we don't necessarily like. The more you have confidence in yourself, the more you fill your own cup, the more attractive it is, the more people want to give you. Do you know what I mean? So I want you to think about that aspect in your day to day. Now let's take uh, a card here from the Yin Yang Oracle. I use this a lot in my relationship readings. So whenever I'm doing recorded readings, this is one of the decks that I typically use. So let's see what we need to know. Yeah, see chemistry and passion, the fire. Just be careful that that chemistry and passion or that fire doesn't overtake everything, you know? A long relationship, a fruitful relationship is more than just attraction. Because attraction and chemistry can fizzle out, right? So we have a very strong energy here of intensity. Now let's see what else we need to know. I want a four agreements card. Let's see. Oh, there we go. These cards are so thick. Okay. Okay. Become immune to poison. All right. Let's see. The whole world can gossip about you. And if you don't take it personally, you are immune. Immunity to poison in the middle of hell is the gift of the second agreement. Wow. So, you know, I think in general, just don't let any kind of chemistry or passion cloud your judgment. If there are red flags there, it's important to pay attention to them. Okay. You're looking for someone who's responsible, someone who takes accountability, somebody who is consistent. That is ultimately what we're looking for. So let's take a look at your headspace and see what we need to know. I'm using the Real Talk Tarot. I do love this deck. Um, whenever I want to do some Real Talk readings, I mean, granted, I do Real Talk readings every day, but I like this deck. It's a little, it looks a little sassy in some ways, you know? So let's see what's going on in your headspace. We have, sorry, I got kitty cats in the background doing things. Queen of Pentacles. It's interesting. You want the stability. The Queen of Pentacles is someone who, 
He loves nice things. She loves her family and home, but she's also generous. You know, you're looking for something stable. Passion and chemistry rides in quickly, like I said, and can leave just as fast. And that can be very attractive. It can sweep you off your feet. You can fall very quickly, but that doesn't give you a sense of stability. And with that, we have the Ten of Wands. See, you might be tired of the instability because Ten of Wands is mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally exhausted. Look, I mean, look at her carrying all these boxes. This is a card of burdens, you know, just feeling really like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders. And it's almost like dreaming here for this stability. And that's the thing with passion and chemistry. It can feel really good, but it can also be such a burden because what it does is it puts your nervous system into overdrive. Do they like me? Do they love me? Do they want me? Are they coming back? Are they going to reach out? This, 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 this. And our, and our minds go crazy. Our bodies go crazy in reaction to this. You know, and speaking about it, I've got a kitty cat that's going crazy um, here uh, with Zoomies. But I would just say that you've got to strive for more stability. We don't want the hot and cold. Okay, let's take a look at your person's headspace. Let's see what they're thinking about. And we have here, see the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is about having it all, you know, that is tangible fulfillment. Home, job, family, relationship, you name it. And there's the Knight of Wands. There you go, my friends. Okay, so here's the thing. I do believe that people have good intentions, okay? I do think people want the relationship or they want the connection. But the question is, do they have the capacity? We talk about that a lot. The Knight of Wands is passion in the pants. It's hot chemistry. It rides in fast and then leaves, comes and goes. And you want someone who's consistent. And again, I think that they want that ton of pentacles. But I, I think sometimes people just don't have the capacity or the understanding that consistency is key. Confidence is key. Communication, you know, very important. Let's see what's going on in your heart space here. King of Cups, see there's the emotions. You got to be careful um, right now because emotions are running high. Don't make any decisions based on emotions. You know, try to look at the bigger picture. Try to look at the logic of this too because a lot of our emotions are getting pulled at right now. I mean, how many of you feel like you're being tested from every angle? And see, there you go, five of wands. It's like I say it and then there it comes out, five of wands. Five of wands is conflict. Should I, shouldn't I? Can I have this? Can I really have this? And if you're engaging in a back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, at some point, somebody's got to get off the hamster wheel or the roller coaster. Or what I always say is with a tug of war is like you can't have a tug of war with someone or even yourself if one side lets go. You can't sit on a teeter-totter and go up and down if somebody's not on the other side. So you can't engage in the conflict or the hot and cold, right? So let's see what else we need to know here. Page of Wands, like I said, I'm seeing a lot of Wands cards today. A lot of a lot of fire, you know. Um, Page of Wands is about throwing caution to the wind and enjoying life. And I think that the thing about enjoying life is that you have to put yourself out there and you got to go with the flow and you can't get scared the moment something comes your way. You got to push through. And that's the problem with the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands can ride in fast and then all of a sudden be like, whoa. And you know, the horse, the, the, the horse is pulled back, you know, like suddenly it's like we're pulling on the reins here and saying, okay, stop. This is saying, gotta live life. And the heart wants it. I do believe that the heart genuinely wants that. To us, but there's a decision to make. There we go. Are you in the old? Are you in the new? Are you willing to put yourself out there in that adventure? Or are you going to pull back every time it gets a little bit too tough? You know, at a, at a sign of difficulty, people really start to pull themselves backwards saying, can I do this? Can I really have this? You know, and all the self-doubt comes in and it's the emotional pain body, really. Now let's see, what's the next steps? Eight of Pentacles, there's work to do. You have work to do, but I always say you got to work smart, not hard. You know, you got to do things with consistency and putting yourself in the right energy, learning the lessons, getting support. I mean, this is where I come in. If you need my support, I can help you. I do this every day with people and those who are consistent, I'm so proud to say they've made huge strides in their 
self-worth and even their relationships you know their dating life their family life their work life we we hit it from every angle see the magician is communication and manifestation and this is my point can you see how like hard working here diligent but yet smart right it's balance it's a balance so we have all the tools we gotta use them now on your person side here what are their next steps what are they hoping for well, what do they need to do judgment wake up call heed the call transformation it's judgment day we got to get going got to get a move on it's like there's some hesitation right i keep hearing whoa <laughs> you know like the reins are being pulled back and this is forcing the forward motion you know the little kick that says okay let's go let's see what else wheel of fortune it's almost like there's a bit of fighting of the shift you know the wheel of fortune is growth expansion good luck it is jupiter and jupiter just went retrograde and that doesn't have to be a bad thing it just sort of means like an evaluation or a reevaluation, re-examination of where we've been how we've been growing you know you have to look at where it falls in your chart um you know jupiter is retrograde in gemini and so therefore whatever house gemini is in your chart okay start with your rising sign rising sign is always your first house my first house is sagittarius so if i were to look at where gemini is gemini is in the seventh house okay it's right across from house number one so for me, it's about relationships and partnerships that I'm going to be looking at saying, okay, so like, what was the growth or what happened here or whatever, you know, you don't have to go into a rabbit hole, but at the same time, it's going to give you some time to reflect a bit in the next little while. So that's where you look at, you know, how Jupiter retrograde is going to affect you. You want to look at the house that Gemini is in your chart. Okay. So let's take a look at some Oracle cards to clarify here. And let's go back to your headspace. We talked about these burdens, you know, the desire for the stability and the flag. You know, it's interesting. I understand that a flag is achievement because you can achieve this. Absolutely. But you have to recognize how the burdens are pulling you backwards. You know, again, are you in the old? Are you in the new? You've got to, you got to ask yourself, what is it you want? What's going to put you in number one position? What puts you in the energy of choosing? You have the choice. You're not waiting on anybody to choose you. You've got to choose yourself. Now, in your person's headspace, see metamorphosis, butterfly. They got to be open. They got to embrace change. This is all about change. And both of you, both of you, you know, I think, if I'm being honest here, I, I think that there's a bit of chasing that's happening on this side. Because here, the hot, cold, hot, cold, coming in and out, um, needing to go with some movement here to be open to change is necessary. And it's almost like trying to force them to change, but they have to force that change on themselves, you know, not from anyone else. They have to want that change. And so that's why I would say here, if you're feeling burdened, then go towards your own stability, you know, and then you've got the five of wands, which is the conflict, right? You know, the back and forth, you have to decide about your emotions, where you want to put your energy. Are you feeling emotional because this person is in and out, or it almost feels like rejection or abandonment? You know, it, you've got to look at the root of where these emotions are coming from. And then the work, you've got to put the work into yourself. You know, you've got to say, what do I want? What's going to make me happy? What am I passionate about? Because here, there's a shift absolutely that has to happen. It's just, it's not necessarily where I think this side wants it to be. And that's the frustration. Now... In your heart space, there's the grapes. See, you can have the abundance. You are going to harvest. But here's the thing about harvesting. It does not happen overnight. It takes time. Absolute time. And there's the fireworks card. See, passion, fireworks. Explosive, hot, you know what, canoodling, as we call it on live. 
this is my point. Um, there's a lot of chemistry here, and I love that. I do. Who doesn't love that feeling? But remember, we're talking about long-term gain here. And in order to get a long-term gain, you've got to take that short-term pain to better yourself or your situation. Otherwise, that short-term gain of that physicality or that physical interaction, it then brings you more pain later on. And so let's see the next steps here on your side. And yeah, mm, it says the answer is no. Let me put it to you this way. I think that this side might be saying no because they're afraid themselves of moving forward. I'm going to take another one. There you go. Fish hook. Powerless, feeling helpless. It's important to realize that you have more power than you could ever imagine. Now, 8-8 eight, eight could be an angel number that you're seeing. And let's see. Let's take two cards for this side. Let's match. Let's match the energies. The lion of being heart-centered. Self-esteem. Your person has to find their own self-esteem. Self-worth, self-value, self-respect. And, and this side too. And everything is in the process of arrival. It's just not happening as quickly, I think, as this side would like. And I know that that's a tough conversation um, for sure. Let's take um, a couple cards here where, you know, of course when I want them, where are they? Oh, there they are. Um, before I pull these last two cards, I would like to thank you always for your kindness and support. I would really appreciate a like, a comment, a subscribe. It really helps the algorithm for people to find my videos. It really means the world to me. So let's take a look at what this side here needs to surrender or surrender to. And we have here surrender low self-esteem. See, we just talked about that. You deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. Okay, let's see what's going on on this person's side. Surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. This is the thing. Judgment day, a wake-up call. And this is about letting them do what they got to go do, trusting the process, respecting the process, and doing what's best for you. It's attractive when you're in good energy. It's attractive when you feel confident. It's attractive when you've got something going on, you're passionate about something, and you're not chasing this side. And I know that that's a tough conversation, and I send you lots of love. It really comes from my heart. I want you to have the best of the best of the best. But I really hope this resonates with you. If you'd like to do a personal reading with me, the link is in my bio. As always, thank you so much, and I wish you an amazing day.